This video will explain how to import data measured in the field with Leica Captivate into AutoCAD Civil 3D. In particular, it focuses on the import of coding and line work. This video does not include the importing of multi-station scan data or images. This will be covered in another video. Ideally, as much drawing as possible is automated when importing Leica Captivate data into the CAD software. If no settings are made in Civil 3D, then the imported data looks like this. The CAD operator has quite some work to do to complete the drawing. But with a few settings being made within Civil 3D, the imported data would look like this. We can see what has been automated. The correct line style, colour and thickness has been drawn. Symbols for the points have been drawn and correctly scaled and descriptive text is displayed. This automation saves the CAD operator a significant amount of time compared to the more basic data import. This video is in two parts. The first part shows the workflow. It looks at the data within Leica Captivate, how to move the data into Civil 3D, and what is reproduced within Civil 3D. The second part is a look behind the scenes and looks into the detail as to how this is achieved. Note that the settings made in the behind the scenes section are already used in the workflow section. This means that for a brand new Civil 3D installation, we would need to make the settings explained in the second part of the video before importing any data. Before watching this video, it is recommended to watch the other how-to videos which explain coding and line work within Leica Captivate. The best way to look at the data within Leica Captivate is to use the 3D Viewer app. Let's look at some specific data. We measured a tree with some additional attribute values. If we edit the point, we can see what was entered. The canopy or drip line, the height of the tree, and the species. Many linear objects were also measured. Fences, footpaths, and curbs some of which include some more advanced line work. For example, a fence-gate-fence -fence combination, a T-junction between two fences, an arc which is defined by three points, a best-fit arc which is defined by multiple points, and a pond which is a closed line and was measured as a spline. Let's now export the data from the job. There are numerous ways that data from a Leica Captivate job can be exported for use in Civil 3D. The three most common are a simple ASCII points list, such as a CSV, which is typically used when there is no need to import the raw observations into Civil 3D, but all points, figures and codes are needed. Then there is the Autodesk FBK format, which is typically used when the total station observations are needed in addition to the points figures and codes. And thirdly, there is a Land XML based format, although this is used less often than the other two. It is the most flexible format due to the use of style sheets. For this video, we will use the simple CSV format, although the processes for the other formats is actually very similar. To export the data, simply tap the job, choose export data, and then ASCII with format file. Firstly, we choose the correct format file. This format file exports the data from the job into the CSV format. The format file is delivered on all instruments. If the format file is not available, then please contact your local support unit. We then choose to store the exported data to the SD card and to the data folder of the SD card with this file name. Press OK and the data is exported. We have now finished with Leica Captivate and can switch to use Civil 3D. We start a new drawing based on a specific drawing template. Amongst other things, this template contains most of the information which is used to automate the drawing. We choose to import survey data and choose the survey database to which the data should be imported. The second step is to choose the file type to be imported and to browse for the file to import. The third step is to choose the survey network. To keep it simple for this video, we choose the None network. 
The final step is to confirm the import options. It is important to choose the option to process line work during import and the correct figure prefix database. These settings are used as part of the drawing automation. We press finish and all the data we measured in the field is imported into Civil 3D. Since we have measured a closed line within Leica Captivate, we have a duplicate point ID which Civil 3D can automatically resolve. Let's take a closer look at what has been imported. We can see the tree has been drawn with the correct block symbol and has been scaled correctly and has descriptive text. The line work has been correctly drawn as it was measured in the field, all with the correct line style and colour, including the more complicated line work. The fence-gate-fence combination, the T-junction between two fences, the arc defined by three points, and the pond, which is a closed line and a spline. Additionally, our line that was measured as a best fit arc is shown, despite best fit arcs not being supported in Civil 3D. Even so, it is this line that is causing our figure error, which is why we advise not to use best fit arcs for Civil 3D. Yes, we have one in this dataset, but that is because it is a generic job that we use for all CAD packages, regardless of what they do or don't support. Comparing the data within Leica Captivate with what has been imported into Civil 3D, it can be seen that all of what has been measured in the field has been reproduced in Civil 3D. This is the end of the first part of the video. The second part of the video will take a deeper look into how this works. Civil 3D needs the data to be exported from Leica Captivate into a format which retains all the information from the field. The format file does this. It converts the data in the job into a CSV format which can then be correctly interpreted by Civil 3D to automate the drawing. Let's look at these settings within Civil 3D, which allow this to happen. The correct drawing and scaling of point symbols, such as the tree, is controlled by the point styles. Point styles are found in the Settings tab of the tool space, in the point part of the tree view. Let's look at the point style for the tree. The point style defines which AutoCAD block or point symbol should be drawn. In this case, the AutoCAD block symbol tree 6. The size is in absolute units with a value of 1. Remember that in the field we entered the diameter of the canopy as an attribute value. When this information is imported, the attribute value is used to correctly scale the symbol. We will look later how to set up Civil 3D to scale symbols. The placing of the descriptive text alongside the tree is controlled by the label style. These are found next to the point styles. I have already created a label style which displays the tree height and species information. This label style is called description. The part which controls what information is displayed is in text contents. Here it can be seen that the full description should be shown. The next part of the video will show how the full description shows the height and species of the tree. It is now needed that Civil 3D knows how to match the point codes which were used in the field with the Civil 3D point styles and label styles. This is done by the description key set. In the code column, we can see feature codes used in the field within Leica Captivate which we want to match with point styles and label styles. For example, for points measured with the code TR, the previously configured point style tree and the label style description should be used. If we look into the CSVs file exported from Leica Captivate, we can see how the attribute information which was entered in the field will be read by Civil 3D. We can see the first parameter is the drip line value, the second parameter is the tree height. The third parameter is the species. Within the description key set, we need to choose the correct parameters. For the format, we choose that the second parameter is displayed, which is the height of 12. We then want the text meter, and then the third parameter, which is oak, and then the word tree. We will then see the descriptive text 12 meter oak tree within the drawing. 
To scale the symbol, we choose parameter 1 and that the scaling should be applied in X and Y. As we can see, when the measured tree is imported into Silver 3D, the symbol is drawn correctly scaled with descriptive text alongside, all automatically. So now we have automated the drawing of points, let's look at the automation of drawing of lines. Lines in the imported Leica Captivate data are created as figures, and their line styles are controlled by the figure style. Figure styles are found in the survey part of the tree view. Let's look at the figure style for fences. The figure style defines how the figure should be displayed, the line colour and type and so on. The matching of the codes used within Leica Captivate to measure linear objects such as fences to the appropriate feature style within Civil 3D is done within the prefix database. These are found in the survey tab of the tool space. We simply need to assign the codes used within Leica Captivate for linear objects with the correct figure style. As we can see, when the measured lines are imported into Civil 3D, the figures are drawn with the desired line styles and colours, all automatically. So now we have looked at all the settings within Civil 3D which automate the following. The drawing and scaling of symbols for points such as the tree, placing descriptive text alongside the points, the drawing of the correct line styles and colours. In summary, it is possible to automate a lot of the drawing when importing data from Leica Captivate into Civil 3D. Simply ensure the point styles, point labels, description key sets, figure styles and figure prefix databases are all properly configured. This can then save a lot of drawing time in the office. Thanks for watching.